Hello everybody and welcome to Surviving Frank here on YouTube with my first commentary and this is going to be on the War Z everybody and here I'm just going to go through all my goodies that I've kind of amassed since I've been playing and yes I've been playing this for a couple days now just trying not to suck for you guys because <laughs> uh, you know new games take a bit of time although I am kind of an MMO veteran so I've kind of learned everything oh and look at this it's the skill tree ladies and gentlemen I love this thing I'm glad that they actually put it in there because that was a huge controversy on Steam uh why are you lying to us? There's no skill tree. Well, now there is. And supposedly vehicle soon, so we'll look forward to that, right? Yeah, who's with me there? Freaking running over people in vehicles? That'd be awesome. But I definitely gotta say, guys, um, this is gonna be my channel for gameplays and let's play walkthroughs, so you, I hope you'll come here for all your gaming needs. I'm gonna garnish the support, and uh, I'm gonna appreciate you all for that support, because I'm wanting to play games and make a living doing this, I hope. Um, I, well, some can say, well, yeah, you know, at least he's honest. Yes, I am honest. So, but, uh, anyway, <clears throat> we're gonna find us a browser and get this, uh, shindig off and started here. And it looks like we found a place already. Kind of low. Favorited. Let's join. But, um, I'm gonna be doing this for long term. I'm gonna do this probably for the rest of my life, I hope. I've been a gamer all my life, so it just kind of fits, right? Since you were three shooting ducks and duck hunt, which actually I'd probably more shoot the dog than the ducks, but I played it anyway. Um, I love my Nintendo, still love my Nintendo. But basically, I love playing games. So, and you know, I've traveled, I've been all over the uh, United States. Um, not completely every state, but I've been around. Um, I've been to, sh you know, Illinois, Indiana, Maryland, North Carolina, West Virginia, Virginia, South Carolina, Florida, oh man, Georgia, I've been everywhere. Um, probably my favorite place is Maryland, just because that's where I met my uh, lovely spouse, my lovely wife, she's the light of my life, and yeah, just wanted you to know that, and her to know that. <laughs> but uh, I'm loving this, uh, this idea of mine, and I hope you guys too uh, love it just as much as I do, so yeah i don't ever know why these screens take forever but yeah i'm a gamer i'm from the tar hill state of north carolina i just recently moved back here actually guys because i was just having massive anxiety attacks living with my wife and her parents and her little sister i also had two cats including our chihuahua poppy which he's awesome basically he's just straight out of beverly hills chihuahua he's awesome though Maybe I'll show them in one of my uh, vlogs that I might do for this channel, uh, you know, on a later date or something. But uh, I moved from there basically because, well, it was just too much, too many people. Um, my uh, wife, uh, her older sister moved in with her roommate and all them kids, and there was like 11, 12 people there. And it was just, it was ludicrous, man. I had a hard time coping, uh, you know, even eating after everything had been dug through and you know couldn't breathe when i went downstairs around all these people there's mess everywhere and it was just oh it was just demoralizing i don't know how you guys dealt with that but uh yeah maybe that's a question for this video post it in the comments uh how did you deal with a situation similar to that have you been in that situation what would you do if you was in that situation what if you and those people had a conflict how would you deal with it so definitely let me know and uh that would be awesome because i'd love to hear from you guys Wow, we still loading? I think we're about to start, though. Oh, man, look at these creepy zombies. Oh, yeah, we're starting, fellas. We're starting. We're starting. That's how that roll. Let's get it going. Hopefully I don't get PK'd, which I've got more PKs and than zombie kills. Or actually, maybe it's kind of even. So it looks like, yeah, we're up here by the trailer park. Hmm. Well, we're gonna go search that. Seems pretty safe. So let me look around real quick. Gosh, these crows, man. Freaking me out. That's one thing about this game. It just it just creeps up with the paranoia, man. Because there's very little music, just sound effects, basically. Either when player characters are around, which I think they took that out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't leave that light on, Frank. What are you doing? They're, like, banging on the door who locked them in there are there like actually zombies in there huh that's the first time i've heard that that's kind of creepy well i'm glad they can't get out of there or at least i don't think they can 
So, yeah, we're just going to creep up. I don't know what's up here. It could be a player up here, and I could be in trouble. Looks like, uh... This guy down here is like, nah, not trying to get killed. Uh, I guess he's trying to meet somebody. Yeah, I wouldn't advise doing that. Wow, everybody's pretty much a civilian. Is he even a deputy? Is that what that said? I mean, that's one thing I kind of get kind of flustered with with this game is the fact that the text is so small at times. It's just, it's kind of rough. But uh, I think I'll get used to it eventually. Yeah, I mean, the music, it, it does build tension, but since this game doesn't have it, and it's just like nature sounds and stuff, just, yeah, see, look at that, I'm getting paranoid again. <laughs> Probably because I'm on the road. Oh, be quiet, man. Can you just jump in silence? Oh, water. I can definitely use some water. Some good, high-quality h 2 water. Look, here's Dale's RV from The Walking Dead. Oh, I don't know. Actually, speaking of Dale, I really miss Dale from The Walking Dead. This is a really gruesome and brutal way to go out. But how many of you guys are very excited for the next season of The Walking Dead? Hey, just leave me a hint and let me know. Oh, what's that? Wait, wait, what? A rifle? An RV? Whoa! First time I got one of these bad boys, that's going to go in my safe. A Russian bolt action rifle with an eternally fed magazine. This reliable rifle has been in popular use through countless wars. Nice. Only got five bullets for it though, so can't get into a lengthy firefight. I just want to see what it looks like. Oh, it's, that's just so nice. I wish the end of the uh, iron side up there was just a little bit taller, but other than that, it's pretty cool. Let's get our stuff, let's get in, let's get out. Don't want to push my luck too much. Let's go ahead and run in here and see what's up in here. Mm, absolutely jack. Man, this game's playing tricks on me, man. Come on, give me something. Wait, what am I complaining for? I just got a moves in the god, so what am I just making such a big fuss over? Wow, though, two houses with nothing in them? Huh. See, that, that's the thing, like, I'm walking around here and I see no zombies. I don't know if that's, like, a sign of players have been here and then got what they got and left and then just everything respawned? I don't, I don't know. I don't know if zombies even spawn here, though. Yes, I am very new to this game. But here's barricades. Oh, what is that? Hat leather? I'll take that. I'll rock a little crocodile dundee. No problem. This is the boonie hat that comes with a bit of sophistication. It is all leather, which is bound to be a hit. But it will not stop one. I'll equip it. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's move on up. Moving on up. Oh, man. I just derped. Derped by a curb. Derped by a curb. I could make a parody of that. A parody of a parody. Wait. No, nothing here either? Crikey. I'm going to check the car. Cars actually have a lot more loot in them now, I've heard, than they had before. Which is good. I'm just glad that they kind of ironed out all the bugs. Like, uh, walking off of a steep oh. incline won't necessarily kill you now, so that's good. I don't know for sure if it will on really steep inclines, but I'm not willing to try. Not with what I just found here, but... Yeah, and also I just found out that this game was hacked a few weeks ago. That's just crazy. I don't know why people would hack the game. It's just damaging it more since they don't have resources, but... It was totally jacked. Oh, some Gatorade. What? Double mass time! Shadow. I'll take them both. Why not? Keep them for my other characters. Maybe I'll do like a PvE good guy like character. And then I'll do like a bandit. Just for the giggles of it. So we're going to check this last RV and I am out ski. I'm leaving this place. <gasps> See, looking for stuff. 
Oh, bag of chips. Bag of chips are, you know, not really all that great, but I'll take it. I mean, it increases your hunger by, you know, a very small amount. And, yeah, I think we're going to Blue Ridge Settlement, guys. Drop off this rifle for a later date. But anyway, yeah, it, it definitely increases your hunger, but it, it lowers your thirst, which is kind of bad. I guess that makes sense, though, because the, you know, potato chips seem to be a little salty. So, yeah, I'm running, guys. I ain't testing this. I'm out. If I can spawn here, what's keeping others from spawning here? I am just out of here. I think this is a 50 max server, so... I think people talking about joining groups, smart man, someone saying I'm not a killer, lol. <laughs> wow. All the interesting conversations in this game. Yeah, we're just going to run through the woods, guys, just barreling forth. I'm going to probably run it till my stamina runs dry. And I'm going to take a bevy and take a look. I should switch to first person when I do that, just so I can get a better look around me. Although I do like being able to see all the way around me, though. But yeah, I'm glad the game got back up line after the hacks. I mean, I know, like, what you guys are trying to do, and I, you know, I understand. I understand what you're trying to accomplish with it, but isn't there, like, a better way to do it? You know, and I know the hack that just previously went on, people are just probably wanting to get a free way to make their own servers without paying the outrageous server prices for this game which I do agree to be outrageous but then in that case you just wait for people to make their own or you just play on the game servers already or whatever so I played on one like the other night and it was like a PVE only it seemed like um so that was pretty cool and then there was one where it was like hackers will be banned so all the aimbot users, uh, don't ever join that lobby unless you want to get banned or kicked from that, uh, server lobby. Now I'm just, now I'm just spouting out Call of Duty right now, or any other, you know, normal FPS console or whatever. I'm talking about lobbies. Wow. See, the, the game, uh, tips and tricks that I could probably offer for someone starting out playing the War Z don't go straight to Boulder City or Campo City, especially when you start out with your little granola bar flashlight and can of soda and stuff like that. It's just not worth testing it. I mean, especially if you really care about your character. I mean, obviously you don't have anything to lose, so it's possible. You could definitely do that, but I would prefer you build up your character over time and therefore help build up your other characters you'll create later on by just, you know, getting around the outlying settlements and then taking the long way around if it's, you know gonna improve your safety like running through the woods like I'm doing here so I don't know if we're actually gonna get to the uh, safe zone in this video just checking my my piece of my cues here make sure no one's just on my tail I always feel like I'm being followed though I think it's just a game it just gets me though we'll look a little bit more I don't see anybody though so we're good we're good Let's mose, let's mose, move it, move it, move it, hustle, hustle. Get to the next tree and see what we can do. But alright guys, well, I think I'm going to stop the video here very soon. So, guys, let me know what you think about the video. Let me know if you'd like to see more. And I'll keep the stuff coming. So, expect other videos, RPGs. I might be doing a dual commentary of this with my friend. And also with the enhanced edition of Boulder's Gate. I might be doing a solo through both of them though. As well, I'm doing right now. But anyway, guys, I will definitely hope and hope you like the video. And make sure you like, favorite, you know, thumbs up, subscribe, tell your friends, bring your friends here. We'll have a party, you know? Yeah, we'll have a party. But I'm just probably gonna wait and kind of pinch up around here. And, uh, yep, guys, that'll be good. And. I will see you guys in the next video. So, peace out, guys. Take care. All right.